Uh, welcome back uh, to another session, uh, another um, uh, session on how on creating your OCO DBA. Um, uh, 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 setting up your OCO uh, DBA installation on your on your uh, Amazon um, EC2 instance. Uh, uh, first thing you have to do, uh, as we left off last last time, basically um, I had I had you I had uh, I, sh I showed you how to. Uh, how to uh, uh, launch an instance, but now I'll show you how to have an account, um, how to create an, an, an email account. Basically, pretty much you already know how to do it, but uh, I will show you how to um, how to basically uh, be able to uh, create that account and then log in uh, to your your Amazon um, your Amazon console uh, with with that uh, with the, those credentials. Okay, first thing you have to do is you, you have to. Um, you have to create your uh, own your own email. Uh, you have to create your own email. You have to have an uh, your own email account, uh, obviously. So uh, first thing you do is you go to add account, or you go to create an account. Uh, I'm gonna create uh, one. John last name will be Doe. Uh, username will be jdo dba1 uh, password will be j okay uh, basically just fill it fill it in uh, basically uh, you know set up an email account as you as you would um, um, any other time, and make sure to link this email to uh, another email just in case you you do not remember the credentials. Uh, basically, you know, um, Yeah, I, uh, my password was too short. Uh, I'm gonna create. I'm gonna have to put in a longer one. Um, see, that one is fine. That one is also fine. Next step. Okay, come on. Uh, okay, let's see if this goes. Okay. Always remember to uh, put your put in the, the passcode at the bottom of the page. There you go. So you 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 just created your own account. Um, you do not have to put your telephone number or anything um, or anything or anything else. Uh, just continue. Almost done. Need to verify your number. No, I don't think so. You know what? Uh, this is fine. Let me uh, let me just go put in my my phone number. And then I'm going to receive a text, and then so I'll be so I'll be able to uh, log in to this account. Uh, Okay, so I've just verified my account. Um, I did not need a picture, so I'm I'm only going to be using this account to basically uh, attempt to log into Amazon uh, for the first time. So what you have to do is you have to uh, after you're logged in, you already have your um, your email, so you need, just need to copy your email or just remember it. Which one is whichever one is uh, easier? Uh, open. Uh, go to Amazon. Go, go to open a new web page. Go to Amazon uh, Web, so, and then basically, when you get to the Amazon, uh, when you when when your uh, page, uh, when you get to the next page, 
you have to you have to uh, basically here you have to sign up you go to Amazon you you get you get, you go to the website you uh again it's taking a long time to uh, for the page to load um uh it's, I just have a really bad connection you go to sign up okay um okay sign up it's taking it's, take, it's taking some time but um it will eventually get there um <coughs> Okay, come on. <clears throat> Sign up, okay. On this page, this is where basically you'll be able to uh, put in your credentials. So before you get before you get to this page, the first thing you have to do is you have to go to the, the email that you just used to uh, to log in. Uh, let me show you uh, the email that the email account that you just created. Um, and basically, okay. So you you go to that email. You you take your um your username. J Dove bba1 at gmail.com <coughs> and then make sure to put in I'm um, a new user <coughs> and then sign in using a uh, secure server and basically what's going to happen is that you receive an email you receive an email where basically you can actually um, you, you will get you, you will get all the information that you need uh, to log into the actual account so there you go. You page your uh, uh, Gmail is loading. Again, it, it doesn't have to be Gmail. It can be any email. Um, so after you know the page loads, you will see that uh, basically Amazon has is gonna forward you uh, some details as far as uh, as far as you having signed up for um, you know to this for the services. So you go in and you type in your name. My name will be John Doe. My again, my email address. Do I have to retype it? Yes, I do. Uh, copy, paste, password. Okay, come on. Uh, password did not match. Let's go. Okay, after you. Oh, come on. There's a primary request, okay, J Dove. Okay, let's make sure do you have it. Okay. Continue. There you go. It's loading. It's loading. It's loading. Um and on this page you can actually you can go in and fill in, you know, fill in your name and put in all the details. And basically, full name, company. If you don't have one, that's that's fine. Uh, put in the address and make sure that uh, you check the box at the end and then create an account and continue. Uh, for my for the account that I have, it's a it's a basic one, and I had it I've had it for a while. And uh, one of the things that that you could do before was you didn't have to um, basically have a uh, you need have you, basically a new feature with uh, we sign up for Amazon is you have to have a credit card in order to be able to sign up. So uh, before you didn't have to do that and that's that's the account that I have and this is what it looked like uh the the the, the um the confirmation email that you received uh before uh let me log out um let me log into this account okay So if you so this is the very first uh, 
email obviously from Amazon so basically after I create my account here you go you can just access your account and basically just I'll give you more details as far as basically you have free access you can do you can do uh, yeah, basically a whole lot and once you're done pretty much you have an account next thing you do is you just go to uh, you go to uh, Amazon that again you go to uh, you go back to the this is this is what this is what this is what the the, uh, the initial page is gonna look is gonna, is gonna look like after you after you're done um, with you know creating your account this is gonna be your um, your your home your dashboard your home dashboard and from here you can basically uh, go to you know different kind of options you can create instances you can uh, you know pretty much do anything you know uh, and so uh, basically uh, you know you can do a whole lot with Amazon and it's not just about instances you can also you know create a uh, databases uh, database groups uh, security groups and all those things uh, thank you for watching uh, this was a video on um, this was a video again uh, that's supposed to uh, that should have been that should have come that actually came before the the, the one that I already that I already posted uh, uh, thanks so much